Hello guys welcome to this tutorial where I am going to show you how to fix your controller for EA FC Sports 25. So you may have encountered some problems especially with your controller. And Steam has issued an update on 23 of September, which admits that there's actually appearance of problems with different controllers on the PC version. So let's go quickly through this tutorial. After starting EA Sports 25, even clicking X or any button doesn't get you through the menu. It keeps getting blocked, like pressed itself whenever you press a button. So if you have this issue, and I think you will, don't worry, there's a quick fix. The only button that works as A or X is the option button on the PS for controller, which is the start button and other controllers. So here again, I would click only options to go through this menu. Once you are out of the game, you will go on top right corner to your profile on EA app. Click the three dots or the arrow on top right, then go to settings. After that you will go to application. Go down and spot in-game overlay. All you have to do is disable the in-game overlay. Turn it off. You will no longer receive game invites, or EA friend requests, or short message. And you won't to be able to make in-game purchases. But you can do it whenever you want. You can come here activate it, while waited for Steam or EA to fix this problem. You can come back activate it, do your purchases close it again, and disactivate it. So we have to click turn off. Try to make sure that you are activating the Steam input. As you can see, my controller is detected as a PlayStation controller. I'm using a PS for controller. So make sure that if you have an Xbox controller or any other one, it makes sure that is correctly detected. If you're using a simple PC controller, you have to use X360 to convert your controller to be detected as Xbox controller. I would show you quickly how to do that. You have to download X360 program from the official website in the description. Extract it and pass it to FC25 installation folder, then launch it as administrator. Once done, an automatic message will pop up asking to create a local file then the detection of your controller will appear. Make sure all buttons are configured. As you can see, I am entering the game now with no problem, and all the buttons are perfectly detected. I hope this video will help you fix your controller, and I am going to do another one, to fix or detect any controller using X360, if it's not a PS for PS5 or Xbox controller. Have a good day everyone.